Hello everyone. Today in this session, we are going to learn transformation of coordinates. I'm Professor Tilottama Sujit Bharati. I'll be discussing polar coordinate system, spherical polar coordinate system, and cylindrical coordinate system during this session. Let us start with polar coordinate system. In Cartesian system, we represent any point A by x, y. So, let us consider any point A in xy plane here. R be the distance of A from origin. And theta is the angle between OA and x-axis. These are comma theta are called as polar coordinates of A. We can easily observe that triangle OAN is a right angle triangle. Thus, my AM which is represent y, that is y coordinate of my point A, can be obtained as r sin theta. Similarly, the length OM is same as x coordinate of my A, which can be represented by r cos theta. Thus, I can get polar coordinates as x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. We can easily observe x square plus y square equal to r square. Now let us have a look in a three-dimensional system. In three-dimensional system, I can have P as any point whose coordinates are represented by x, y, z. Similarly, my distance of P from origin be r and angle between OP and Z axis be represented by theta. If I project my point P into XY plane, let me mark P dash as the point which is point of projection in XY plane. The dotted line represents my Z coordinate of P. Let me mark distance between origin and P dash by R dash here. It can be easily observed that my line P, P dash is parallel to Z axis. So my angle O, P, P dash is same as theta. Also, I can easily say triangle O, P, P dash is a right angle triangle, which gives me Z is equal to R cos theta and R dash is equal to R sin theta. Now let phi be the angle between OP dash and X axis. Now with the help of this phi and R dash and using polar coordinates in XY plane, I can easily write X is equal to R dash cos phi. But already we have got R dash to be R sin theta. So we can say X becomes R sin theta cos phi. Same way, we can write y is equal to r dash sin phi, which can be written as r sin theta sin phi. Thus, what we have obtained is a Cartesian point x, y, z can be represented by r sin theta cos phi, r sin theta sin phi, r cos theta. This r theta phi are called as Spherical polar, polar coordinate. Consider x square plus y square plus z square. After simplification, we can easily see that it turns out to be r square. And what do you know, students? x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square represents a sphere. Thus, the coordinate system just now what we have obtained is referred as a spherical polar coordinate system. Let us go for a next system which is cylindrical polar system. For this, consider a cylinder represented by x square plus y square equal to a square z equal to 0 and z equal to h.
Now that's the cylinder I'm talking about whose base circle is x square plus y square equal to a square and height is h. Let me mark my coordinate axis here so that we can think about representing x, y, z using cylindrical system. Now let me mark p, x, y, z as any point on the cylinder. If I project a cylinder into x, y plane, I'm going to get a circle which is my base circle x square plus y square equal to a square which is represented by a dotted line here. And let me have p dash as a point which is lying on the circle exactly at the same position where my p will be projected. Now let us have a look that what happens to this circle in two dimensions. In two dimensions, we are going to see this circle, which is my base circle, x square plus y square equal to a square. P dash is the point which I have, we have found earlier. I have marked it here. Now let me mark distance of P dash from origin as rho. We are using rho here just to avoid the confusion between r which we have used in spherical system. So we are representing a distance here as rho. This rho will be same as our r which is used in polar coordinate system. Now let me have phi which is the angle between OP dash and x axis. I am using phi as the notation for the angle with x axis since we have used the same notation in spherical system. Now using polar coordinates of x y plane I can easily say x is rho cos phi and y is rho sin phi. Also, I can say x square plus y square equal to a square will be represented as rho square equal to a square. z is kept as z only. Why this is so? Because cylinder, the base circle is as it is expanded in the direction z. So z is not changing anywhere. So in the cylindrical coordinate system, our z is kept as z only. Thus, the cylindrical coordinate system which we have obtained is represented as x is equal to rho cos phi, y is equal to rho sin phi and z equal to z. Let me summarize it quickly. What we have seen is polar coordinates are represented as x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. Spherical coordinates are written as x equal to r sin theta cos phi, y is equal to r sin theta sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta. Cylindrical coordinates are represented as x is equal to rho cos phi, y is equal to rho sin phi and z equal to z. Now what are the use of these applications? In our syllabus we are going to apply it here. Polar coordinates will be used in double integrals when either my function will contain the term x square plus y square or integration is over a circle. So whenever my region is involving a circle, I can simplify my integration using polar coordinate system. Similarly, in triple integrals, whenever my function will get term x square plus y square plus z square or if I am integrating over a sphere, I can take the help of spherical coordinate system. Now, in triple integration only, when either I have a term x square plus y square in my expression or if I am working with a cylinder or a cone, we can take the help of cylindrical coordinate system to simplify our integration. Uh, that's all for this session girls and uh, uh, hope uh, you have understood the things and you will be able to apply the things in your evaluation of double or triple integration. Thank you.